Hey there guys, welcome back to What Cheers. I'm Nick as always. Well, tonight we have a super special beer to take a look at. This is Trillium Brewing Company's third anniversary beer, Dialed In. Um, I just went to the anniversary party yesterday with my dad. We were super lucky to get tickets. It was a very, very small event. And I gotta tell you, that was one of the most memorable experiences I've had in a long time uh, for many reasons. Uh, the, the Trillium team, the Trillium family, these are like the most down to earth, humble, uh, genuine people you could ever meet, especially for just a, a larger brewery now um, with a lot of employees. But, you know, it, it comes down from the ownership um, and it trickles down through all the employees, just the, the way they, they handle things. Um, and they're just an incredible, incredible staff. Um, and they really made it feel like you were part of the family. Um, and I, I just can't say enough good things about my experience yesterday at their kind of first official party at the new brewery. The owners, JC and his wife, Esther, um, Mr. and Mrs. Trillium, uh, they gave my dad and I so much of their time. Uh, they offered to take us on a, a private tour of the brewery while the party was going on. Um, which just meant the world to me and, and to my dad. And um, of course, we were thinking of my mom and wishing that she was with us. And I, I think they understood that and they wanted to make it a little special for us. And then I ran into the head brewer, Zach Page, who actually recognized me first uh, from my reviews. Uh, and I didn't know who he was, I'd never met him before. Um, so I got to spend some time one-on-one -on -one talking to him for a while about everything and I learned so much from him. He is seriously so incredible to talk to, um, just so humble and, and a wonderful, wonderful human being. Um, very, very talented, obviously. He's responsible for pretty much every trillion beer that you're drinking um, today, including this one. And he's a young guy. And it, it just, uh, it was so cool. I had no idea I was gonna get to spend time talking with him and learning from him. Uh, so that was really cool to make a new friend. And uh, like I said, you know, the owners just really made the experience for my dad and I so special. And if you're not exactly sure why that is, um, I mean, most of you, if not all of you by now know that my mom, dad and I were involved in a deadly car crash, which my mother was killed instantly and my dad and I barely survived. Um, what you might not know about that is that we were on our way back from Trillium in Boston picking up their first anniversary beer when that actually happened. So the tie-in to Trillium and, and going to this anniversary party together with my dad was extremely emotional for us. Um, I, I really felt my mom with me yesterday, and uh, it, it was it was so bittersweet. It was so difficult, and also so enjoyable at the same time, because I knew that she was with us and enjoying the party just as much as we were, um, and having the same experience. But yeah, um, you know, two years later, here we are. Uh, and, and it was just uh, such a wonderful, wonderful time. I cannot say thank you enough to um, John claude and Esther for their hospitality um, and making it such a special experience for me and my dad on their special day. Um, we can't, you know, we can't say enough and, and thank them enough for that. So thank you guys. Uh, I, yeah, that's what I have to say about that. And thank you to Zach for spending time visiting with me and my dad as well. It was just an absolute pleasure to do that. So now that that's out of the way, guys, I, you know it's really important for me to talk about that. Um, obviously, now that you, now that you heard it all, so let's talk about the beer, guys. Um, my last review, I did a beer from them called Speed Dial. Basically, that was a test batch for this beer. Um, they wanted to make sure that they were happy with how everything came out, and if they wanted to make any adjustments, they could do that before releasing Dialed In. So uh, with Speed Dial, that was essentially just a double dry hop Nelson Sauvin beer. Um, and with the addition of a, um, Sauvignon Blanc grape juice added mid-fermentation. Um, and so it was just a Nelson Sauvin bomb. I mean, it was pretty much the best Nelson Sauvin 
hopped double IPA I've ever had, um, especially with the addition of that grape juice. Um, it was just ridiculous. Um, and they had a little bit of Columbus as well, which is pretty much in every Trillium hoppy, hoppy beer. So the only main difference between Dialed In and Speed Dial is that with Dialed In, they added Galaxy into the secondary hop charge. So you've got Double Dry Hop, Nelson Sauvin, and Galaxy, basically. Um, with, again, the addition, uh, mid-fermentation of the Sauvignon Blanc grape juice just to accentuate the Nelson Sauvin character already, um, you know, just because it's it's a Nelson bomb and they wanted to play around with that and it just makes it, it gives it a little bit more depth, a little bit more character to it. But the addition of the Galaxy should be interesting to see how that plays. It'll probably add just another layer of complexity to the beer, which I just, I mean, Galaxy, like Double Dry Hop Congress Street is Galaxy and it's basically one of their best beers ever and, a lot of people agree with that. So they do a hell of a job with Galaxy. Um, I think it's gonna go great with this. And that's pretty much the only difference between um, this and Speed Dial, the addition of the Galaxy. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much all we need to talk about with this beer. Uh, it's eight and a half percent, just like the Speed Dial was. And this was bottled just three days ago at time of recording. So super, super fresh. I did sample it at the anniversary party. I didn't have a ton of it, um, and I did have a lot of other things, so I didn't really get to really experience the beer yet fully the way I like to, which is exactly what we're gonna do right now. I got the proper glassware, um, which was amazing that they included that. And I've had it out of the fridge now for about an hour. It has a really nice, serious chill to it still so we're gonna we're gonna dive into this guys and check it out um you know I'm, I'm expecting it to be very similar to the speed dial just with that you know other layer added to it with the galaxy included um and that's it guys so let's go ahead and dive in um very cool on the front obviously the the label art on these trillion beers is always incredible but they, um, yeah, they have the area code and the phone number for the Trillium Canton facility on the phone. Very, very clever. And the number three um, highlighted in for their third anniversary. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, we were going to get the uh, first anniversary beer at Trillium Boston when the car crash happened. We did get it, but we never got to enjoy it, um, which was metal. And I never reviewed that one um, after that. But I did review their second anniversary uppercase, which was absolutely incredible. Um, but anyways, guys, I'm rambling. Let's get this open. I'm really sorry. I just wanted to talk for a little while about that. Um, and let's get this let's get this into a glass and check it out, guys. All right, guys, it's time to get dialed in. Super excited about this one. Um, yeah, I can't. Obviously, I can just keep saying the same thing, but I'm so excited. We're gonna make sure we get a nice full pour on this. All right guys, you saw the pour. Now let's go ahead and get a look at the appearance on the dialed in. Well, the head dissipated really fast. Um, not sure exactly why I poured it really aggressively, but it did dissipate pretty quickly. Um, there's just a little ring of like a uh, soapy kind of slightly off white head to it with some medium big and small bubbles but really nothing left of the head which is interesting uh let's go ahead and get a look at the color on this i mean you guys can see it it is your typical double dry hopped you know super turbid uh almost like you know orange juice pineapple juice kind of like this uh tropical juice milkshake type thing um yeah it is just super dark uh deep dark uh, orange, yeah, I mean, it just is ridiculous. Basically, what all Trillium Double Dry Hot beers look like um, these days, just looks darker towards the middle, kind of a, an orange yellowish color, just beautiful stuff, guys. I mean, I love this kind of look on beers. Away from the light, it actually looks quite a bit brighter um, in color, uh, a brighter orange, uh, like a orange or lemon type color to it, but yeah, it looks amazing, guys. Let's go ahead and stop talking. Let's go ahead and get into the aroma on the dialed in. Cannot wait. Oh my God. Yeah. 
Oh my God, that is fucking insane. Um, wow. So after just having the speed dial pretty fresh in my mind, yeah, this is definitely different. Um, this definitely has more depth to it. Um, now, I absolutely love speed dial because it was just basically a pure Nelson Sauvin bomb, you know, plus the addition of that Sauvignon Blanc grape juice. It just was basically like a wine through and through. It was like a beer wine. It was just insane. But this, you really do get, you get a lot of that white wine. You get a lot of that white grape kind of a acidic citrus kind of note in there. Um, but this has that whole another addition of another layer of tropical fruits, um, kind of dank tropical fruits. Yeah, you get that pineapple, that bright pineapple kind of zesty thing going on. I'm definitely picking up like a zesty sort of like lemon lime character. Yeah, like sugar coated lemon lime. But you do get a ton, a ton of that Nelson Sauvin character, that white wine, white grape character. It smells sweet. It smells juicy. I mean, you don't smell eight and a half percent anywhere in this guy's. It's not, it's not there whatsoever. Oh man, it, it is so aromatic. It makes your mouth water. Um, it really does. This is also this also doesn't smell overpowering. Like it's a double dry hop beer, but it doesn't smell like um, it's too fresh. You know what I mean? It doesn't smell like it's going to be too harsh. It smells actually like it's really, really balanced. And this is only a couple days old in the bottle. <sighs> yeah, it's got this bright tropical fruit and bright citrus notes and a slight dankness to it, but really just juicy, juicy, juicy. Um, yeah, well, let's go ahead and dive into the taste on this finally, guys. Um, it's got a pretty good chill to it still, but we'll let it warm up as we go through the review. Cheers, guys. Cheers to Trillium on their third anniversary. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Oh man, damn, that is incredible. So crisp and clean. They get the Pilsner malt in this again. Just a very crisp, clean kind of character to the beer. Oh man, is that flavorful. And so hoppy. After I swallow, yeah, just getting attacked with hops. But it's not bitter. It's got a low bitterness to it. Pretty drying on the palate, but wow. This thing is loaded with flavors. Right up front, you just get blasted with that Nelson Sauvignon character. Almost like really just taking a sip of a white wine. You know, very like grape, grape skin, white grape. A, t a touch of earthiness or dankness. And then it just blasts into this fresh cut pineapple, fresh um, citrus, a little like citrus pithiness. Um, a little like zestiness, citrus zest. And you get some of that like sugar code lemon lime type thing that I was talking about in the aroma. It's there in the flavor. Um, the Galaxy is bringing a lot to this beer. This is not the speed dial. This is much, much different on the flavor, even more so than the aroma. There's a lot more going on. Um, there's a lot more complexity to this. There's different elements that are kind of playing around with each other. Um, yeah, Galaxy and Nelson is an interesting combination. Um, and then of course with that grape juice added, it just really, really brings out a lot of different flavors that you probably wouldn't normally get um, in just a, a beer, a, a Nelson and Galaxy beer. One of the things that's really shocking me about this right now is the mouthfeel. This is not a super thick, creamy mouthfeel. I think they definitely have beers that do have more of a thick mouthfeel. I think the speed dial may have had a creamier mouthfeel. That's not to say it's thin, but this drinks very, very clean. I mean, it's juicy, it's slightly dank, but it's very clean, almost like a wine. Um, yeah, I don't get that super rich um, velvet mouthfeel, which is fine. And I also really like how the sweetness does not overpower things. Um, it's not overly sweet. I think there's a blast of sweetness like mid palate somewhere, 
Um, but after that, it kind of dries out. You get this low bitterness, very, very hoppy on the palate. I mean, it's, it's obviously, it's hopped pretty much out the ass. <laughs> but yeah, this is not a, uh, not an unbalanced beer by any means. I actually find it to be extremely drinkable for the eight and a half percent. I mean, that's no surprise, uh, which is pretty much most Australian beers are really easy to drink. But this one, I think is extremely, extremely pleasant and not too harsh at all. Yeah, so after a few more sips, it just keeps getting juicier, a little bit sweeter. I mean, this is this is just craziness, guys. It does not taste like beer, really. I mean, aside from the slight kind of yeasty taste that you get, I mean, it really tastes like carbonated juice. Um, you know, it's hop juice, basically. And eight and a half percent, yeah. No, it's it's completely hidden, as I kind of expected it would be. But this is really well done. This is much less of a one one noted kind of uh, white wine beer. I mean, that beer uh, speed dial was so white wine, I couldn't say anything else about it. I mean, it just was, it just tasted like a wine pretty much. But the, with the Galaxy, it was a really smart addition because it does add that other layer of depth to it. You know, Galaxy, very citrus and uh, slightly tropical with the pineapple, kind of dank pineapple thing going on but it adds a lot of bright kind of citrus zestiness to it. Um, and I think it plays really well with the Nelson. This beer is very, very soft on the palate. Again, not the craziest, thickest mouthfeel, but very, very soft. And the carbonation I'd say is, is probably like medium carbonation, the higher side of low medium carbonation type of thing. But I mean, it drinks so, so freaking easily guys. You could, you know, it's gonna to be tough to not, you know, drink this super fast like I am right now. I definitely suggest, um, you know, start it with a little, a little chilled like I am and then let it warm up to see how it changes because I don't even know how it's gonna change yet. I'm gonna to have to go off camera and let this thing warm up towards room temperature to really see what changes and if I can pull anything else out of it or more out of it than what I'm getting already. But honestly, as of right now, I can't tell which which I like better, if I like speed dial better or this better. Um, you know, I kind of wish I had them side by side, to be honest with you. But I'm gonna let this warm up a few more minutes and I'm gonna come back to you with my final thoughts and score on the dialed in, which is just, I mean, it's phenomenal, guys. It really is. It's like, so we're so spoiled, you know, that we get to drink these beers. And then they just come out like on a pretty regular basis now at this point, which is just insane. Um, it's a real treat and a pleasure. All right, so stick around and I'll be right back with my final thoughts and score after I let this warm up a bit. All right, guys, I'm back. I've been sipping on it for a while here. Uh, let it warm up quite a bit more. It's got a nice slight chill to it now. It was definitely a lot colder before. Um, so I've really been able to kind of pick and pull everything out of it that I wanted to talk about at this point uh, to wrap up the review. So why don't we go ahead and I'll do the aroma and taste one more time and see what's changed. Um, but I will say right now, it is incredible beer. And uh, for an anniversary beer, it's definitely outside the box for them. You know, it's definitely something different. And I think that's exactly what they wanted and what they were going for. And I think they achieved that really, really well. So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and dive into the aroma and taste one more time as it's warmed up a bit. Yeah, so the thing that I'm noticing a lot in this now is that the Galaxy, for me, the Galaxy is overpowering the Nelson Sauvin, the white wine, um, the Sauvignon Blanc grape juice for me. Now, I mean, Galaxy is a very strong potent hop and uh, it is definitely kind of overshadowing some of the elements that I loved about the speed dial. Um, I think when it was colder, I definitely felt like it was more Nelson Sauvin white wine character to it. And now that it's warmed up, the Galaxy is really coming out strong. And that's not a bad thing. I think what it's going to come down to is personal preference. Um, I mean, you can't get speed dial now, so it's sort of a moot point. But um, since I did have it, I guess I'm comparing them since they're basically supposed to be 
the anniversary beer. But if you like Galaxy, say you're not a huge fan of Nelson Sauvin, but you like Galaxy, you will love this beer because the Galaxy, I think, is overshadowing the Nelson and the uh, grape juice a bit more, obviously, than without it. So with that said, I get huge, huge pineapple, dank pineapple, bright citrus notes. I get like um, dried apricot or, you know, that kind of peach, peach fuzz type thing. I get some like zesty lemon, lime, orange, zesty orange. Um, but yeah, that overripe pineapple, kind of dank pineapple, citrus note. Very vibrant, very zesty um, kind of citrus notes, which you get from Galaxy with a hint of that tropical fruit, kind of some mango in there, I guess, too, as well. But just that Galaxy. If you've had a Trillium Galaxy beer, this is pretty heavy on it. Now, behind that, I do still get the Nelson Saab, and I still do get the white wine, the kind of acidic character, the grape skin, but it is overshadowed for me at this point. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and, and dive into the taste on this, guys. It smells absolutely fantastic. Cheers. Yeah, so on the flavor, it is absolutely fucking delicious. Um, I do think I get more balance between the Galaxy and the Nelson on the flavor than in the aroma. Um, you do get a real punch of that white wine, white grape, acidic kind of character, uh, grape skin character to it. But you do get the galaxy that comes in kind of fast and hard, and it does kind of take over in the mid-palate to finish. Um, it's very uh, just intense. It's very hoppy. It's almost chewy, um, you know, like just fresh hops, like chewy fresh hops. Uh, and it finishes... Uh, very dry, very dry, like a wine, which is nice. It finishes very dry, not overly bitter. I'd say a low to medium bitterness on this one. And it's got a slightly creamy mouthfeel to it. It's very smooth. Um, you know, I, I think it's, it's probably exactly what they were going for. However, I think the one thing for me is I wish that it was more, I wish it was more wine forward or, you know, white wine forward, more Nelson Sauvin forward, just a little bit. I think the ratio might just be a little bit off for my personal taste. Uh, again, if you love Galaxy, this is heavy on the Galaxy, uh, more so than I thought it would be, but that's totally fine because it's absolutely delicious. I'm not saying that in a bad way, so don't get me wrong. I'm saying that for the, like, since I had the speed dial, I don't think, that, I, I said it in that review, I said I really hope they don't change too much because I can't imagine that beer being better for an anniversary beer. I just thought it was so all in, Nelson, you know, Sauvignon Blanc juice, like it was all in. I think that was really, really great. I understand the want in, you know, to play around, to add the Galaxy, the secondary dry hop, but I don't know if it necessarily needed it. I think it was such an amazing beer on, on its own um, that, you know, it was unique enough to leave it alone. However, this is a 60 barrel batch. Um, dialed in is a 60 barrel batch, guys. It's a huge batch of beer. Um, and it's pretty much just as good as the speed dial, just in a different way, depending on your taste. Uh, like I said in the speed dial review, Nelson Sauvin is pretty much a love or hate hop for most people. So they may have decided to go with this to kind of give it some balance, give it some further depth than instead of being just, you know, a white wine Nelson beer. Um, and and it, it does have both characteristics, but I do think the Galaxy overshadows the other elements a little bit. I mean, it's definitely there. Um, it's definitely there. It's And it might be there for you big, big time. I think only on my, my opinion might be a little bit skewed because I did have the speed dial. Maybe somebody that didn't have the speed dial is going to have this and say, oh my God, it is crazy wine forward you know what i mean it just it's a matter of perspective probably but it's really incredible stuff with that said guys let's go to the score i'm just going to talk forever about this and i drank a ton of this and i can definitely feel it so as far as the score on this one guys i gave speed dial which was by the way speed dial was only a 10 barrel batch so you know, quality difference, I don't know if that matters, but you know, 10 barrel versus 60 barrel, 
they're pretty damn close and that's pretty damn impressive. It's a 50 barrel difference. Um, so speed dial, I'm gonna go ahead and say I liked better. Um, I just think it was perfect the way it was. For my personal taste, my dad's personal taste, I don't think it could have been better. Um, but that's just me, excuse me. So I gave that beer 100 in my last review. It's my very last review. If you haven't seen it, you can go watch it. It was a pilot batch of this beer. Um, so this is just one notch lower. I mean, it's basically a 99. Uh, there's no reason to go lower. I can't give it the 100, um, but I say 99 because it's still an A plus world-class beer that I hope you guys go out and get. Um, it just got released today at the brewery. I got this yesterday at the party um, before it got released, but it did just get released today at the brewery, both the Boston and Canton locations. You can get six bottles per person uh, and one 64 ounce growler or up to 64 ounce growler. You get two small growlers if you wanted, I think, plus the six bottles if you wanted. Um, but I don't think you're gonna see this one around again. I don't think this is gonna be a rebrew. Um, I have no idea. So go and get it if you're in New England, if you can make it up to Trillium, either the Boston or the Canton Mass location, go and get it now. Um, it's 60 barrels, it should last a week. I'm posting this like the very next day. So uh, hopefully you guys are watching this, you guys can run out and go get it. Um, it's not to be missed. I think a lot of similarities to me would be like Double Dry Hop Congress Street, to be honest, which is what most people consider their favorite out of the Double Dry Hop series. So that's pretty awesome. You know, the hoppiness in this, guys, is so intense. It's so extreme, but they but they do such an amazing job at restraining the bitterness. I mean, it could be way above, you know, low to medium bitterness, and it's not. I think they said it's like four times the regular hop charge that they usually do for a beer like this. Um, and it's just, you know, it's, it's hop juice, it's hop candy, um, it's chewy, it's just perfection. Um, so yeah, guys, it's gonna get a 99 for me for the Trillium's third anniversary dialed in. Please let me know what you think about it when you get it. I would love, honestly, I wanna see your comments. Once you go get it and once you try it, please leave me your feedback, whether you agree with me, disagree. Hey, everyone's palate is different. Um, and also maybe let me know if you had the speed dial versus this and uh, compare the two like I did. Um, if you didn't, I still wanna know what you think. I think it's a fantastic anniversary beer. It's very, very different. And there's a lot of complexity to it. I would suggest starting with it a bit more chilled and let it warm up. Um, and when I say warm, again, guys, I'm talking like this is still chilled. I'm talking not freezing cold out of the fridge. So yeah, let me know what you think of the dialed in when you get to try it, go get it. And uh, 99 from me, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to, uh, thank you to JC and Esther, um, Mr. and Mrs. Trillium, you guys are incredible. Thank you for the hospitality and love that you showed my dad and I yesterday at the anniversary party. I cannot express you in words how much that actually means to us. It was very emotional for me later at night when I reflected back on the day and what it all meant and thinking about my mom. And um, I, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm pretty much speechless. So thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. And uh, to Zach, Zach Page, uh, if you're watching this man, you are a legend. You are a legend in the making. Uh, the, the beers that you put out, at, at, I think you said you're 28. I, I just can't even believe it, dude. Keep doing what you're doing. It is phenomenal. Um, I'm really proud and lucky to live in this area and be able to drink this beer and meet such wonderful people. And uh, yeah, just, yeah, cheers to Zach. Everyone that drinks Trillium beer should look this guy up and write him a message, write him a thank you note, because uh, he is the unsung hero of these beers for sure. So if you guys wanna see some pictures from the Trillium anniversary party, I posted them on my What Cheers Facebook page. Um, if you haven't already liked that page, you can do so. There's a link in the description here or just type in What Cheers Beer Reviews on Facebook. Um, and you can keep up to date with what I post on there that's not on YouTube pretty much. But um, yeah, I posted some pictures from the party, uh, from the tour, and it was really cool. Um, also, if you guys do get this, definitely take a look at my speed dial review and you can sort of do a comparison yourself 
with watching that and drinking this. Um, you'll understand what I'm talking about a little bit more. I know many people, almost no one got the speed dial because it was a super small batch, but definitely take a look at that and you'll see sort of the comparison um, that I'm talking about. So with that guys, I'm out of here. This is a super long review. I don't care, it doesn't matter. Um, you can fast forward, rewind, whatever you wanna do. It's YouTube. So cheers, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next beer review really, really soon.